Continue my vlog, the 180, life after a heart attack. Um, and in this episode, I'm gonna talk about the heart attack. Um, I am not a doctor, I am not a healthcare professional, I am just telling you about my experience. And there is a possibility that maybe at some point somebody will see this and it can help them. Uh, because honestly, uh, even as somebody who can sit here and tell you I've had a massive heart attack, I will also sit here and tell you that in my mind, it still did not feel like a massive heart attack. It did not feel like what I would associate uh, a massive heart attack uh, feeling like. Uh, it got to the point when it was occurring that I was even literally getting on YouTube and looking up videos to try to compare what I was feeling to symptoms of a uh, heart attack and seeing um, eliminating things so that I could feel better or definitely go to the doctor. The irony is that I was literally working out the day that I had my heart attack and uh, I had sons, I have two sons and I wanna get in better shape for them so that I can live a long life for them um, and so I was doing some cardio and I wasn't even really pushing myself that hard I my son had had a cough over the weekend and allergies in my area have been really bad so over the weekend you know coughing a lot having some breathing issues and so I had kind of taken it easy I'm not an Olympian so when it came to exercising, I was not about to go push myself crazy like I was trying to get a gold medal in anything because I knew I needed to kind of build back up into things and, and try, to, try to work my way uh, towards certain goals. And so I had kind of done some light workouts for a few days. And then I told myself that day, and it was not a long workout. I told myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna do myself about 15 minutes of cardio and push myself just a little bit harder. Not a lot, not a lot, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I told myself, I told myself after this, I was kind of sickish on the weekend, you know, some trouble breathing because allergies and stuff like that. I told myself. I will probably have some chest pains and I will, or I shall probably have some difficulty breathing and my chest may burn a little bit. And so after my workout, about five, 10, 15 minutes later, I noticed that's exactly what was occurring. And it just kind of started not going away and getting at times worse. And you know, they give you that pain scale. What is this on a scale from one to 10? It kind of fluctuated back and forth. At one point it was kind of hitting an eight and I started to get really concerned and time was kind of going. And you know, you go past a certain time limit and you're like, well, this is not from the exercise, I don't think, because it would have passed. This isn't heartburn or anything like that. Um, and it kind of was kind of receding, but still not feeling really all that great. And it just wasn't going away. And now I'm pushing on a couple hours of this and it's just not going away and it does not feel right. And so I just kind of made the decision that I gotta go to the emergency room, to the doctor, uh, just, just for them to tell me I'm being paranoid. I told myself that I have two sons, let me go to the doctor, let me go to the emergency room, and let them tell me you're just being silly, it's just some indigestion, it's just some allergies. And I went, and it's, it's a good thing I did. So ultimately, that's kind of what this is about. If, if, you, if you have the pains, if you feel something's not right, go. That's what I had. I had some chest pains, and some difficulty breathing. I literally just thought it was allergy issues. So go. If I hadn't gone, I would not be making this video for you right now. So go. In the next video, I will do part two, where I will actually talk about what happened after 
I got to the hospital. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Uh, give it a like, give it a share. It may help somebody. I don't know. But um, I'm also going to take this time to plug my books. I'm a writer. I have six novels that were originally published through a small publisher. They're currently available on Amazon and Kindle and uh, they're uh, horror and urban uh, fantasy novels. And just now would be a real good time uh, with all that I've got going on to uh, see an increase in those book sales that would really be helpful right now. Um, so tell your friends who like to read, hey, go get these books because that would be awesome of you and it would be appreciated. And this book, it's, it's about a haunted house, but it gets really, really crazy and it's called Shadows of the Inferno. And I just appreciate you taking any time to uh, just watch the video or even check out the books. I hope everyone's having a great day.